0.05 milligrams because it removes again the most DHT from the scalp which is what protects the hair and then after removes only like 40% of the serum DHT which is in the body that is what you want guys Hey guys, you know who you beat yourself up. In this video topic will be about how to dose 0.05 milligrams of finasteride. Now before you get into the video though, go check out DrewYourselfUp.com. Make blog posts on a weekly basis on content I cover on this channel. So, if you're interested in that, you know what to do. Now let's get into the video. So, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'm kind of in a rush, so let's get this quick. If you know about the study made of finasteride and its effective dosages that I've covered in this video right here on finasteride and how to use it optimally, 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 then you know 0.05 milligrams is the best dosage, just as effective as removing scalp DHT as one milligram without the effects and side effects of removing DHT serum, aka you don't fuck up the hormones in your body, you only remove hormones from the scalp. 0.05 milligram was just as effective with only a slight difference in removal as one milligram and five milligram. Now, trying to get that kind of dose is pretty hard. Most places don't have it unless you get it custom made by a prescription of a doctor. And even then, pretty hard. In fact, it'd be easier to even make a solution, a topical liquid solution that you put on your hair dose at 0.05 or 0.05%. But like I said, very hard to do that. So what you can do in that case is you grab a pill, hopefully one milligram, because this will not work with any other dose besides one milligram. You grab the pill, cut it into four little pieces. It's not that hard guys, it is not that hard. Followed by cutting that little piece, each quarter you're gonna cut into four little pieces as well. Now the dosage won't be exactly the same, but as long as you take this every single day, you should be good. Because on a weekly basis, you'll be taking the same amount. Just, for example, if you cut a pill and one little piece is 0.04 and the other piece is 0.06, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, after a couple of days, you'll have taken the same amount. You cut this little pill, the problem is usually try to take the pill. It's going to be such a tiny, tiny little amount and... When you take it by mouth, because that's what you do, unless you're using a topical solution, which is very, not that complicated, but still complicated, and I'm not covering that on how to make it solution. Um, when you take it as a pill, and it's such a little piece, it's very hard to take it by mouth, because it'll usually dissolve before it reaches the digestive system to be absorbed. So what you do then is, after you cut cutting tiny little pieces there, these little buggers, man, little fuckers, you need to go and grab a capsule, and you need to go and put it inside, and then you go and take it by the mouth. That's it. It is that simple. And for anyone who wants to debate me on 0.05 milligrams is not effective enough, well, you can go and eat the study in the face. I will leave a link in the bio explaining the study, the results, the screenshots. Hell, I even show it on screen right now. Because I believe that finasteride is not the be all and all, and your goal for hair loss is to remove DHT from the scalp, not to fuck up your body, not to lose your libido, not to lose the hormone that makes you a man, aka DHT. A lot of guys don't get side effects in the first year. A lot of them do get it after a year, two years, and it takes a while to get rid of them. DHT is pretty horm it's a DHT is a pretty important important damn hormone. You want that thing to stay in your body. You don't want to lose it. So any chumps out here that say you need to take one milligram. You're being a dumbass. Five milligrams, you're being a big, big dumbass. 0 0.2 milligrams, uh, still being a dumbass. Honestly, anything above 0 0.1 milligram results in the same practical amount of serum DHT removal and scalp DHT removal. The only one that's effective and safe is 0 0.05 milligrams because it removes, again, the most DHT from the scalp, which is what protects the hair. And then after it removes only like 40% of the serum DHT, which is in the body. That is what you want, guys. You want to save your hair, not fuck up your body. You wanna be a man that looks good with a full set of hair and still have a working dick. You don't wanna be depressed. You don't wanna have side effects. So, that's simple. If you can't handle cutting a pill into four 
and then after another four pieces aka cutting one milligram pill to eight pieces if you can't handle that too bad okay learn to cut pill otherwise make a liquid solution and if you want me to cover that i will be making a example and video explaining on how to do it soon right now i can't i'm a little bit of a rush so but hey you guys are not obligated to listen to me you can do whatever you want go talk to your doctor who doesn't know much about the studies because i'm gonna be honest most doctors don't keep up to date with new research but you do what you want guys all right so don't forget to like share comment subscribe follow me on ig rumble reddit yourselfup.com now with that being said don't forget to like share comment i probably already said that <laughs> like i said in a rush take care chosen wisely do yourself out